Welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's video. So today's video is going to be part two of my giant video from yesterday, which was my giant clean with me, my makeup brush collection, going through it, giving you small reviews, and I'm going and I was doing a tiny, tiny declutter because I didn't really declutter that much. But I really happened to look at my time and it was like 55 minutes. So I decided I was going to go ahead and break this up into two, maybe three, because I still got a lot of brushes to do. And I do want to, you know, go through them and declutter them, give you small reviews on what I think of these brushes, how I use them. And my dad is making dinner and it smells amazing right now. It's like 12 something. Yeah, it's like, got to be 12 something. My boyfriend gets off at 2, so I'm hoping to be done with this video. What do I feel like I'm not, though? Um, but yeah, today I am filming it on a Sunday. I posted my first part yesterday, which would be Sunday. This is going up tomorrow for me, which would be Monday. So, and I'm still filming a video tomorrow. It's just I'm going to be a video ahead now. So, let's go ahead and get on into this video and finish this up, hopefully. Alright, so back on with the trend. This is my Boxy Charm brush. It is the Moda. That is not there. I think that there was like a little scandal with Boxy Charm because this actually didn't say what it was. It's a highlighter brush. I remember that from the reviews. It's a highlighter brush. And um, I don't like this for highlight. I have used it for highlight a few times. It's not my favorite. It's just a bigger version of like what I do prefer to use. I am going to keep it and I'm going to try and love it. Because I feel like you could probably dust the way you're bake with this. Probably like really, really easy because it's very flimsy. Like you can see it's very it's a very long and flimsy brush. So I'm probably gonna try and find other uses for this aside from like highlighting. Cause it's definitely not it's definitely not like a highlighting brush for me. And it's not gonna be like a contour. I think you could probably use this for blush. Probably use this for blush. Who knows? Who knows? I'm sure I'll end up getting more brushes just in life and for now, so I'll probably have to do this again. So I'm gonna put that in the keep area. Oh, I had so many brushes I was keeping, I had to move them over to another area before I started filming the second part. In my decluttering area, it looks. Here is a Moda brush, another one. It's the Multi Purpose Powder. Looks like this. And so it's a multi purpose powder, which basically means you can set your foundation your liquid foundation with it with your powder foundation. You can bronze, contour well no. You can bronze. You can do blush with it. Could probably do your eye. I wouldn't suggest doing your eyes. Setting your eye with a big brush like this. I don't know. Maybe it's just because my face is so small, but you know, that's definitely not for me. I don't think I'm gonna keep this just because I have so many powder brushes and I just remember using it once and I don't remember it. Amazed me. I can't believe how long that video was. I am so sorry. I have makeup brushes. I never thought I would ever declutter my makeup brushes, so I'm not gonna lie. I was like, nope, they're mine. They're mine forever. When I first got into makeup, I was because I had such a small, like, little collection. Because you start out with nothing, like legit nothing. Obviously, you're getting into like a giant collection. And now I just ended up having so many, and you have to remember I've had boxy time for going on two years now. So, like every single boxy time that I've gotten, pretty much every other one has a brush set in it. So I ended up accumulating a lot of brushes, but I'm going to declutter this one. All right, another boxy term brush. Ironic. This is the Luxie 121 Mini Tapered Brush. Looks like this. It's kind of like a crease brush. I do use this for the crease a lot. I'm not going to touch my eye with it because it's got black on it and I was really going for like a natural look today. 
more natural. I have browns in my grease and a light pink on my lid. That's natural to me. But I'm keeping this because I love my boxy can brushes and I actually do like this. This was actually in my routine for a really long time. I actually had this brush in my routine for a very, very long time. Like something like three months I had this brush in my routine. And it stayed in it for just like another crease brush. It wasn't like a standard like one of my like transitioning crease brushes or like that one in my last video that was like really fluffy and could was perfect for like my second shade shade or the first shade I would put in the crease after the transition. This was just a really good crease brush altogether that I could really fit into any type of like any section at all. Like any section I wanted to put it in, I could put it in for the crease. If I wanted to like use it as like my last crease color, whatever, I could use it. But I'm keeping it because I love my box charm brushes at the moment. Here is the Wet n Wild Rebel Rose Face Brush. It's the bigger version of the eye brush that I had in my last video. I actually do apply my foundation with this. I will, like, I put my foundation on the back of my hand, I take my brush like that, and I just dab my foundation everywhere. And when I dab my foundation everywhere, I take my sponge after it's wet and I go ahead and I blend it out. I'm wearing the Wet n Wild Photo Focus foundation today. It's not the dewy one. I do want to try the dewy one now. But I am wearing the Wet n Wild Photo Focus original foundation that smells like paint. And that is actually how I did it today. Is I applied it with a brush and then I blended it out with a damp sponge. One of my favorite foundations. That one's in my routine like a lot. But I'm keeping this because I love this collection. Like I said with the other one, I love this collection. I love the color black. Black is obviously my favorite color. I'm not able to tell with all the black I wear in my videos. Um, yeah, so I'm definitely going to keep this. And I have a weird obsession with flowers because my father and I, when I was younger, used to have a garden that we would grow flowers in every year. He still has a garden, it's just not flowers anymore. It's Vegetables. Those are really good vegetables. Like really good vegetables. Yeah, so that's it. I'm keeping this brush just because I like it. I did like the Rebel Rose collection. I wish I could think of the highlight. I could think of the highlight. It might not be this collection that I'm thinking of. I don't know. I'm trying to remember one day. Alright, so this is what the brush looks like. It's clean. Like I said, it could be practical for foundation, but that's about it. It would be the way that I apply foundation, which is to apply it from your hand and blend in with a sponge. That would be the only way I think that that brush would actually be practical. Aside, other than that, it's a good display product. That's pretty much it. Alright, this is a Moda 801. Just like this. I'm parting ways with this because I just remember getting this little set and being so excited for it. And it just was not what I wanted it to be, for sure. So I'm going to definitely part ways with this big freaking brush. One of the things for sure that I had to do when I switched over from part one to part two of this video was I had to go get my phone charger. I actually had to, um, I had like 69 or something like that percentage battery, and I was like, oh, that'll definitely be enough. And I got off and I was like, oh, I only have like 39%. That really killed my battery. Pretty, I mean, in hindsight, my battery probably lasted a decent time to be recording for an hour straight. But, yeah, it's on the charger now as I record.
and I'm uploading the first part to this video as well. So this is what it looks like. Clean and dry, as I said before. I was very disappointed in this brush. I didn't love the way it applied really anything, to be completely honest. It was really, really big. So I am just going to go ahead and part ways with this brush. This is the Luxie 209 Large Shader. This is another Bossy Charm brush. So I actually prefer to use eye primer and not my concealer. Uh, a lot of YouTubers do prefer to use the concealer, but I do have an eye primer collection. So I'm just using eye primer. But I will, if it's not a good eye primer, I will put my concealer over top of it. So the current eye primer I'm using is the Hard Candy Eye Primer. And it's actually really good. I blend it out with my finger because it's really thick. And then I take a brush like this. I take like my powder foundation and I set the eye primer with my powder foundation and then typically, like today with my Sydney Mini palette, there was a really good shade I could use to apply as well to set down my eye primer. And I did that as well as a second application. Come on, please. My mom is here, which means it's got to be like 1 o'clock. Whew. I'm bad. I'm only about to say 10.30. I woke my working up to work and went back to sleep. Because I knew I was going to be filming this long video. So this is what it looks like clean, and I really like this brush. This is actually one of my staple brushes, and it stayed in my routine for a really long time. This is what it looks like I'm keeping it for sure. All right, so this is my Elf small angled brush. Again, it's like this, and it has like the angle to it. So. You can use it to like do your brows, which is how I do use this, or you can use it as an eyeliner. I actually think I did use this brush like a long time. Not this particular, like the same brush, but it was the same like small angle brush by e.l.f. And I did use it when I first got into makeup to learn how to do like cat eyes and stuff like that. Clean. So this is what it looks like clean, and as I said yesterday, in yesterday's video, well today, but as I said yet in yesterday's video, I'm not parting ways with any of my brow brushes, just because I switch up how I do my brows, but I always use powder and gel, and I just need to have like a variety of brushes, I have to. This is actually a really good brush. This is, it doesn't say it anymore because I've had it for a while. This is the LA Colors, it's a crease brush, and it comes in like a little set with the shader brush. I really like this. It's really smooth. It sheds so crazily. Like it, it really sheds really bad. This is a really good brush, though. It's really soft. I really like it. So it looks like dry. Very, very, very not impressed. But it's an act, it's actually a really good impressive brush. And you get two brushes for two dollars at Dollar Tree. No, not Dollar Tree. Family Dollar or Dollar General. And I definitely recommend this. This stays in my collection for sure. Alright, this is a uh, Moda Pro, and it is the BMX 430 Crease Brush. This is another boxy charm brush. It came in that little. Motor Pro set. Go ahead and clean. I actually used this brush today in my crease. I applied a yellowy orange color all over my crease to kind of like warm it up. Because I'm very warm toned because my mother is Native American. 
So I'm very warm tone, but I'm very pale because I don't like that side. So I tend to stick to more warm tone things, unless there's like the light pink shimmer that just kind of like enhances my lid. I like I feel like it enhances my lid at least. Makes it look more natural. Natural. And this is gonna be one of those brushes I can tell you when you do this with. This brush actually does stay in my routine pretty regularly. I do use this brush a lot on the regular as a crease brush, so I am keeping it just because it does stay in my routine pretty decently, and I have not parted with any of my BoxyCharm brushes because I just don't want to. This is my Moda shader brush. Okay, this came in the, that same set. A shader brush, how I use my shader brushes is, it, it is how I apply powder on top of my eye primer. It's how I set my eye primer. So that is technically, typically how I will use my shader brushes. I don't feel like this applies powder at all. And if it does, it doesn't apply it decently. So I am parting ways with this. This is a hard, hard, hard no to keeping. I can't keep this brush just because I do have other shader brushes that I like more. Mostly that one musty brush. This one, I just don't feel like applies the power very well, and I feel like it made it stick really weird. And I've never, ever, ever had that happen with one of my shader brushes on that eye primer before. So, this I'm going to have to pass on and say I'm not keeping, but I did find some decent, like, I did find, I just see one. I did find one brush, at least, in that collection that I ended up keeping. I really only one. I found two and I just made a giant mess. I have to get up and clean it. <laughs> my bad. Okay, so this is my e.l.f. Stipple Crease Brush and it came in a set that I bought when I ended up becoming obsessed with stipple brushes. I bought a small stipple brush, it was a set. It had the Elf Small Stipple Brush, and it had the Elf Big Stipple Brush that I don't know where it went. And it had this, and it had a shader brush that was a stipple brush. I actually really like this. Stipple brushes, I feel like, are more softer than any other regular type of brush. This doesn't regularly stay in my routine, but it is in my routine. And I really need a brush, like a really good brush. This will be in my routine. And it does typically, it, it gets rotated around. So this is what it looks like with the white bristles from the black. I'm keeping this. For sure, I'm keeping that brush. Here is another one of that Moda Pro. It came in that set with that highlighter brush. Came with my box charm. Obviously, I'm keeping it, but. I do prefer to use this for powder foundation. I could probably apply my actual foundation with this, but I'm kind of set in my ways with how I apply things. I need to change my sponge. I know that. Oh man, I'm a mess. I am definitely keeping this because I do love my box charm brushes. I just love them. I can't help it. I love my box charm brushes. If I could get box charm, box charm premium, and box charm lux all at once. Yes. And filming a video. Oh, okay. Yeah. Hey, mom. This is what it looks like. And I'm going to go ahead and keep it. Waiting for my boyfriend to come home because I have no sense of time. So this is another one of those wet mob brushes. It's a fan brush. I really don't like fan brushes, but this one's actually different in the sense of it's like a line. It's like not like flimsy flimsy. I think it has more like bristles on it for sure. 
so this is I'm gonna keep it just because I really love this collection. And I'm gonna attempt to make it work, but it probably will be clutter. Probably later after I get like 60 more brushes. But yeah. Just fan brushes are not the, my typical go to when it comes to highlighting, that's for sure. This is another one of those wet model brushes. It's a shader. I'm going to go ahead and keep it because it's a shader brush. I don't, haven't kept one of these shader brushes. I think I have a couple shader brushes. Again, I'm keeping one and trying to get rid of the duplicates that I have. I can only finish this video and go eat lunch. I'm going to go ahead and keep this because I want to at least keep one brush from one of each brush. Alright, here is my e.l.f. Ultimate Blending Brush. I think I bought this because Kathleen Lights had raved about it years ago. And it's actually pretty decent. I like it. I'll definitely keep it. It's definitely one of those like you can use it for a lot. You can use it for your foundation to apply it. You can use it for your powder, your bronzer, your blush. I use it for a lot on your face, for sure. And I think it's only like $6. Alright, I really like it because it's kind of like kind of like, I don't know, like dense, but like, doesn't really go anywhere, you know? Definitely different, I feel like, definitely, yeah, it's definitely different than some of my other brushes that I have. This is definitely different, so, like I said, I'm going to keep it. I might keep it if I can never get all the soap out of it. The one thing I hate about cleaning my brushes is that I don't feel like ever get all the soap out. Then when I finally think I do, I go to dry them off with my little rag and I find more soap. And then I don't feel comfortable letting them dry with soap in them. I already need a new rag, and I think I just got this rag. Alright. You can kind of see how, yeah, you can kind of see how fluffy it is now, but when it dries, it kind of like back to how it was before. Just knocked over some shaving cream. There's so much crap down here. Forget it. Forget it. I'll just put it back when I'm done. All right. So here is another one of those Real Techniques brush. This is actually that other brush I was telling you about. It is my All Over Shader brush. I'm keeping this because it's a special place in my heart for sure. Surprisingly, no matter how old like this brush actually is, it does rotate, but it stays in my routine pretty decently. Like, pretty decently, like it'll stay in my routine. I'm really getting more into my eye brushes, so I'm trying to get my face brushes done. This is, I'm parting ways with this, I can just tell you that right now. It's not an actual brush. It's a hard candy brush that I probably, probably got in my like trim contour set that I had. I think I used that and got like. I was done with it. I think I used it though. I'm pretty positive I used it. That was like my first introduction was two cream contouring to the hard candy. 
and now I'm using Elf to con clean contours. So I'm definitely trying to use this brush. This yeah, I'm trying to use a good brush. Just because I can't. I looked at this and I cannot justify keeping it. I have a very small declutter area, by the way. Very tiny. Okay, so this is a Moda Professional brush. It actually came in one of their eyeshadow palettes that I have. I actually got a few of these. So I'm going to, again, stick with the, get rid of the duplicate, keep one and get rid of the duplicate. So I'm going to keep one and get rid of the duplicate. Never used this. My mom was killing me. She's not gonna do this. I'm gonna get this to my list. It's really cute though. Alright, so here's another Almar cosmetic brush. I'm not cleaning this because I haven't used yeah, I haven't used it yet. And it is the complexion brush. I haven't used it yet, so came the box charm. Not getting rid of it. This I think I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of. It came in that little set that I had where I kept a decent amount of them, but this one, I just, I feel like I have other shader brushes that I would use over this one, so I'm just going to have to get rid of this one and use the other one. I would use my other ones over this one, and that's just not fair. This one I'm going to declutter for sure. This is what it looks like cleaned up. I'm going to go ahead and put that in my declutter section. This is another Ulta blush brush. I'm going to go ahead and declutter. Didn't even realize I had two of these, but probably came in like little Ulta gift sets that my parents got me for either my birthday or for Christmas. I have put a dent in my brush. Or in my brush basket, I put a dent in it and I'm very close to being done. Hopefully, I don't have to make a part for these. You know, I don't feel like these are bad brushes. It's just I have other brushes that I would use over these for the ones that I'm decluttering. So, what's the point having them if you have other brushes you would rather use? So. Goodbye to this one as well. Here is my Aesthetica. Doesn't say. It's a brow brush though. It came in a BoxyCharm, so I don't depart with my BoxyCharm brushes just yet, and I haven't departed with my brow brushes. So I'm going to probably stick to that. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys what it looks like. It's a bigger version of like an angled eyeliner brush. It's a bigger version for sure. But you guys will be able to see in just a minute. All right, so you can see it's a bigger version. I have, yes, I do. This is the Elf angled brush, and this is the Aesthetica. You can kind of see the difference in the bristles and just the difference in how big they are. Here is my Elmar Cosmetics. Again, it's a, I use it as a brow brush. I'm not parting ways with my brow brushes or my box brow brushes. Again, I'm getting into my box brow brushes or my brow brushes. I mean, box brow brushes are all over this video. So yeah. It's just you can take me on. It's been all over this video. Sorry, I'm just having fun. So this is what it looks like. It doesn't have an angle to it. It's just a flat one. So you can either use it for your brows, you can use it for eyeliner or your lower lash line. I prefer the brows though. So. This is my Beauty Professionals All Over Shadow Brush. It looks like this. I'm going to go ahead and keep this because I actually do like this. It's actually a decent shader brush. So I'm going to go ahead and keep this. Alright, 
this is my elf. It's called a defining eyebrush, but it doesn't say it on here. I have two of these, so I'm going to stick to the keep one and get rid of the duplicate. This is another one of those like Luxie brushes where you can, if you're really going to detail the outer corner, I would use this to detail because it will really pack on the color on the outer corner and then blend it really nicely into the crease. So it looks very seamless and it all looks connected and all flows together. Like I said, I'm going to keep one, and then when I find the duplicate, I'm going to get rid of the duplicate. Because I just don't need to have 300 versions of the same brush. I just don't. And here is another duplicate. This is a Wet n Wild crease brush, so I'm going to have to part ways with it. I'll probably end up giving it to my mother or my sister, to be completely honest. Like I said, I'm getting rid of the duplicate. I have three of those wet wild crease brushes in my duplicate to like get rid of area. Here is another duplicate. It's my flower crease brush that I am going to get rid of because I said I would keep one and get rid of the duplicate. Again. Yep. So I'm just going to go ahead and clean this off. Again, it's a really good brush. I just don't feel like I need duplicates of the same brush when I have four different crease brushes from four different brands. I don't need, you know, two duplicates of each of those brushes. I just don't feel like I do. I thought I would show you guys my brush basket <laughs> to show you guys how much progress I have made. I made pretty decent progress, I think. So this is my Lexi 246 Precision, Precision Crease. No. This is what it looks like. It's a little tiny shader brush. I actually will use this for shading. And I'll actually use this like for in a corner for my brow bone. I actually have used this as like a line pencil type of thing. I would not put this in the crease unless you were definitely going for a crease brush. And even then I wouldn't reach for this. Or for a cut crease. And even then I wouldn't reach for it. Maybe I would use this as like a shader for a cut crease. I don't think I've done a cut crease on my channel. I should probably do one though. They're really easy actually. Well, they're hard, but they're easy once you get like the hang of it and find your own rhythm to them. But I did go on a hate it for like thirty months and not wear any makeup whatsoever. I am keeping this, but I very much disagree with them calling it the precision crease brush. I very much disagree with that. This is my Elf Contour brush. I am gonna keep this just because makes me feel bougie. I don't know why to have this brush. Even though I don't use it like to blend out my cream contour typically. Typically I will use use another brush in here from that beauty professional line that I really love to use to blend out my cream contour along with the one that's over there that I already cleaned off in my previous video. I don't know why, this just kind of makes me feel like it's like a dupe for like a nard or something like that. It's a dupe for some like fancy brush and everybody said, go get the elf one instead of the fancy one back in the day, like two years ago when I first started doing makeup. So I'm keeping this. You know it's always about to fall apart. Here's another one of those brushes. It's a flat top brush. I think I'm going to part ways with it just because it, I like these flat top brushes, but I feel like this is my least favorite flat top brush. So I'm going to go ahead and part ways with this one particularly because it is my least favorite out of all the ones that I have. So that means I will use it less. I mean, somebody else will use it. I'm not going to clean just because I cleaned it like yesterday or something like that when I used it. It's the Almar 
bronzer brush. I this is I'm not gonna get out of this. I love you can't really see the design that is on the brush bristle, but I really like this. It's got like a starfish thing to it. I really like this one. So you can this. Even though it, it was a boxy charm, I just really like it. And this is the Wet n Wild flat top brush. This is the one that I reached for over that other one, which is why I got rid of the other one and I will keep this one. I'm already at 35 minutes into this freaking video. what it looks like. Once it's cleaned, I am keeping this. And I already have to keep it. This is the e.l.f. eyeshadow brush. I'm going to go ahead and keep this just because it's like a like eyeshadow, like a lid and a shader. Probably could do a little bit of both. I did not have a duplicate of this, but I can see. I don't have a big set of it that I can see, but I am going to go ahead and keep this. This, I haven't found its partner yet, but it's a boxy charm brush. It actually has a boxy charm on it. I'm not sure if you can see, but it's a boxy charm. So I am going to keep it. And once I find its partner, I'm going to keep that one as well. I think I know where it's at. But it's going to be really strange being a video ahead. I'm just going to say that right now. I tend to make my videos like that day. I might keep up with the little trend of keeping ahead. I don't know. But I'm going to do it. This is another Wet n Wild brow brush. It's from that same collection. Again, I use it for my brows. I'm not getting rid of it. I have a duplicate of this. I'm not getting rid of that one either. I like to have multiple brow brushes because of how I do my brows. I'm just going to say that now. It would probably be different if I use pencils, but I don't use pencils on my brows. I use powder and gel, as I said before. Here is another Wet n Wild crease brush. I think I used this today. I feel like I used this today. Why do I feel like I used it today? It looks like something I would use today. But I am going to go ahead and get rid of this because I kept one and I'm getting rid of the duplicates. You've probably seen this fourth or fifth time already, but this is what it looks like in the declutter pile. <laughs> Here is another one of those wet and wild brushes. It's a crease or a crease. It's a brow brush. Like I said, I had a duplicate of it, and I wasn't going to get rid of the duplicate for this one just because of how I do my brows. I like to have multiple brushes. I think this video is going to go over an hour. I am so sorry. The last one, I was just going to let it go over an hour, but I decided to go ahead and break it up into two parts. So, why not? Here is, this is an Eco toothbrush, but I don't know what it's called. I typically use this right here to do my lower lash line and to put in a corner. And this, I don't think it's a specifically amazing brush, so I think I'm going to go ahead and part ways with it. I actually think it's meant to be a lip brush, to be completely honest. And I don't use brushes on my lips. I use a lip liner and I use a liquid lipstick currently I'm using and I'm wearing those of colors new liquid lipstick. I wore it yesterday. Well actually it's Sunday. I wore it yesterday and today and I'll probably wear it Monday when I post this video. 
as well as make Tuesday's video. But that's going into the clutter pile. This came in a set, again, I don't know the name of the brand or the brush, because it's old and came in a set. Just a really good shader brush. I'm going to go ahead and keep it, because I actually do like this, and I remember this was in my routine for a very decent time, a couple years. A couple years at least this was in my routine. So I'm going to go ahead and keep it. Here is another MUA brush. I said I was going to keep one and get rid of the duplicate, so kept one. So I'm going to get rid of this one, the duplicate, after I clean it. It's not actually a really good, good, decent brush. Like I would say it's flower comes with a better brush in the palette than this one did. There was something decent to use for a little bit. So went ahead and put that in the declutter pile. This is the Ulta Crease brush. It looks like this. I'm going to go ahead and declutter this because it is a different brush than what I had, but I just don't see myself using this one. So I put that in the declutter. Did I keep this already? I feel like I kept this one, but I could. I'm going to go ahead and... This one's really stiff. So, this is a wet model. I think it's like a large or small eyeshadow brush. I don't remember. It kind of looks like medium. I mean, it's really honest. I think the produce brush is not the most precise consistency in size. So, I'm going to go ahead and keep this one just because I can't really... Never mind, I'm going to go ahead and throw this one away because the glue. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and throw that away. That's not, that's weird. This one's kind of clean, but I'm going to clean it up again just being safe side. This is the Beauty Professionals Contour Blender. This is what I was saying earlier that I like to blend out my cream contour with, or I'll apply contour or bronzer with it. So I'm definitely going to go ahead and keep this one. I definitely had a lot of hits with that beauty professional kit. A lot of it. I think my parents had a Sam's Club and they gave it to me for Christmas years ago. But if you can find this set, I would definitely recommend it. It's got a lot of really good brushes that I still use to this day. So this is a Real Techniques compact fan brush. I don't have anything like this. It's really cute. I think you're supposed to use it for like to highlight like your brow bone, it's really really fancy, but I'm going to keep it because it's really freaking cute. This is an Eco Tools shader brush. I think that this is like the only Eco Tools brush that I'm going to keep. So I'm going to get rid of the other one that was like wooden as well. I don't know, but I'm going to go ahead and keep this one as well. I really like to set my eye primer with this as well. So this is the Wet n Wild contour I have a duplicate. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys right now. I have a duplicate, so I'm going to keep one and get rid of the duplicate. I don't know which one to keep. I don't know. But I'm going to go ahead and clean both of them because Trying to speed this up because I'm already at 44 minutes, and if you combine it with my last video, that's like 99 minutes. Just gonna say that right now. Their brushes death last. So 
in. My battery is dying, even though it's plugged in somehow. So, really need to speed this video up. Um, this I'm going to go ahead and keep because I actually think I like using this for cream contour. So I'm going to go ahead and keep this. This is the Moda 802. Go ahead and keep that. This I'm going to get rid of because it's a super foundation in the brush and I hate these little like stick things because I don't find use for them ever because it looks like that. So I'm just going to go ahead and get rid of that. Alright, this is a Wet n Wild like looking liner brush that I'm going to go ahead and keep. I like it. Don't think I should do it. It looks like that. This is an Ulta eyeshadow brush. I'm going to get rid of this. It looks like this. I was cleaning it with the bubbles that was down here because I really want to finish this video. Here is, I didn't know I had three of these. Another motor brush or any ray brush. I'm going to get rid of that because I have the duplicate Lexi 141 mini brown brush. So keeping that one kind of looks it's like a pencil brush. Elf defining eye brush. Yes, I'm hurrying. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. But I'm going to get rid of this because I have one. Moda Pro BMX. 420 detail came in boxy charm, so have to keep for sure. I have this, it's the LA crease brush, Kelly's crease brush. I'm gonna have to get rid of that because I have a duplicate. I don't really like this. This is a wet and wild eyeshadow brush. Don't really like, so I'm gonna get rid of. And then this is the last one, Moda Pro BMX 466 shade brush. I'm gonna go ahead and keep this one. All right, that's it for this one. 47 minutes. That look took way too long. We'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.